what if instead of being given an equation we're only given a picture or a graph of a function to begin with and I want to go backwards and determine what the equation is for that picture and that's what we're going to do in this example so we're going to go through and the first thing I'd like for you to do is to identify some characteristics of the picture that we're looking at here we can see that this function opens up if the function opens up uh, then I know that the leading coefficient of this function is going to be positive. So that's one of the things, key factors. Another characteristic I can uh, identify on this graph is the vertex. Here the vertex is located at the point 1, 1. So we have a vertex at 1, 1. And then when I am trying to determine an equation for a function, I want to know one other point on the graph. I need to be able to identify one more point on my graph. I can identify several in this picture, but I'm going to stick with this one right here. This is the y-intercept, and it's located at, the y-intercept is located at 0, 2. So we have known characteristics of this graph right here, and we're going to use the vertex formula to come up with the equation for this function. Remember that the vertex formula, or the standard form it's called in this book, says y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And we're going to take the vertex that we know and plug it into the equation, the general equation, or the equation that we see down here to start and um, make this equation specific to this graph. So we're going to replace the h and the k with the vertex from up here. That's going to make the equation look like y equals a times x minus 1 squared plus 1 for the h and the k. Now again, the x and the y that are in the original equation, or the, the standard equation here, those are variables that will be changing every single time, and I'm never, I'm, I'm not going to be replacing and figuring out what x and y are. Um, I did figure out, I'm told what H and K are, so I replaced those letters with numbers. And now the only other letter that I can actually replace is going to be this A. So I need to figure out what A is in terms of this picture over here. The way that we do that is we are going to use that other known point from my graph, which, gives, which, have an, which has an ordered pair, right? This point right here has um, an ordered pair with x and y coordinates. So what I'm essentially going to do is use these x and y coordinates to replace the x and y in the equation I'm generating. We're going to do that now. I'm going to replace the y value with 2. So this is 2 equals a times. I'm going to replace x with 0. 0 minus 1 squared plus 1. Now what that did for me is it gave me an equation in one variable that I can now solve for that letter A. So we are going to simplify this and we get uh, negative 1 squared so 2 equals negative 1 squared would just be 1 so I have 1A plus 1 and if I subtract 1 to the uh, left hand side over here I have 1 is equal to just a. So I know that the coefficient, the leading coefficient on the equation that I'm creating is now a positive 1. So I can go back and take the equation that I was working on and replace the a with what I just solved it for. So this is looking like y equals 1, I'll put it in there just so we don't lose track, x minus 1 squared plus 1. And that would be the general equation, or let's say the standard equation, for this function that we see up here. Now we don't write the 1 anymore, of course, I just wanted you to see that it was in there. So that's the solution to what we, what we needed for our picture.